in this video I'm going to be talking about the .NET CLR the CLR stands for the common language runtime and um, this is what is um, responsible for executing your um, you know your C sharp codes that you've written in your web page uh, when you write an application for the um, ASP.NET uh, framework um, your source code is never compiled directly into a machine code um, I'm not sure if you know what a machine code is a machine code is the <laughs> is the one one zero one one zero 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 the binary code so your machine code is never uh, written directly when you do a compilation when you compile your page it's not directly compiled into the machine code. Your code will be compiled to what is known as uh, MSIL which is the Microsoft Intermediate Language. So uh, <laughs> the, the the Microsoft Intermediate Language is uh, is looks is like an object oriented assembly language which means uh, it is not CPU specific so it is not specific to any platform so it is platform independent so when your application now executes then the uh, M MSIL will be, uh, will be compiled by what is called the just-in-time compiler um, I think I need to explain what that really means so every time you write um, a C sharp code and you know how the stuff that we do on ASP.NET and uh, you execute your application there's supposed to be a compiler so the compiler uh, execute the the .NET framework uh, execute the language into a source code called MSIL which is the Microsoft Intermediate Language so now when your application is now being executed for the uh, real world for <laughs> when somebody I mean, requests a web page then there's a just in time compiler there's another compiler known as the just in time compiler which now turns your MSIL code into the machine code so which means your original language that you use for developing your application doesn't really matter that is why it's possible for us to use uh, ASP.NET uh, with C sharp and with Visual Basic, and that's not the only two. Um, that's not the only two uh, languages that is allowed on uh, Visual uh, uh, ASP.NET. On in ASP.NET, you can also use um, languages such as the JavaScript. You can use Perl. You can use Pascal. You can use PHP. Small talk, Cobol. So there is a lot of. Uh, if you're a PHP programmer, now you can find the compiler that can translate the PHP to the MSIL. Once you can, once you find the PHP compiler that can turn your uh, PHP code to the MSIL, or the Microsoft Intermediate Language, then uh, you'll be able to write. Um, you'll be able to use the Visual Studio or Visual Web Developer to develop application using PHP because once you write your PHP code then the um, your compiler we, the PHP compiler we compile the PHP to the MSIL which is um, um, platform independent then the MSIL code will be able to run inside the .NET framework so that um, your application will be uh, executed by the .NET framework, so that's the way that's the way the language, common language runtime works. So that's why uh, there are two uh, languages that are mainly supported for the. As you can see, when I click on Hard New High Term, you can see we only have two languages that are mainly supported, even though the rest of the languages I mentioned earlier on, like JavaScript. Pascal, Pascal, PHP, uh, Cobol, they are also they can be used with their own compiler. They can compile the code into the MSIL. Um, knowing a particular language is not very important because uh, you can know any language and just use 
the uh, your compiler to compile the codes to the Microsoft Intermediate Language. So, uh, if you know how to use the most important part of uh, Visual Studio is to know the classes and the methods. Once you know the classes and the methods, then um, you really don't wor have to worry too much about the language that you want to use because um, um, C Sharp imitates, like most Java developer, they can easily become uh, a .NET programmer because Java is very close to C Sharp, it's very similar to C Sharp. Also, Visual Basic is very easy to learn. It's one of the easiest uh, language to learn. It's really Visual Studio .NET. I mean Visual Basic .NET. So, um, the really hard part is learning all the methods that are available to you. And uh, I would say that it's actually not very easy to know them by by heart. So, uh, you might need to be carrying reference books ar around with you because there are, just like I said, about over thirteen thousand classes in uh, available in the dotnet framework so there are too many things to memorize so um, that's all I want to say about the CLR um, I'm going to write some text about the CLR in case what I said in this video doesn't seem clear to you just read the text and you should be alright thank you